Today with another story that's sending shockwaves through the sport. Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy, golfing legends, are now in the legal hot seat and the potential implications couldn't be higher. Keep watching because this is one update you can't afford to miss. So here's the breaking news. Woods and McElroy are being deposed as part of a high profile lawsuit. That's right, a Florida court has ordered both Tiger Woods and Rory McElroy be deposed in the next couple of months as part of a civil lawsuit against the PGA Tour. And the allegation that they conspired to harm Live Golf. Up until now, there's been a lot of talk with no action. But this is serious stuff. It's a legal battle that could reshape the professional golf landscape. But what are the allegations? Well, let's break it down. The lawsuit, filed by attorney Larry Clayman, alleges antitrust and unfair trade practices. Clayman is known for his high profile legal actions, recently representing Patrick Reed in his battle with CNN. He stated, Woods and McElroy are not above the law, signaling the seriousness of this allegation. Well, it's alleged that these two golf giants use their influence to block the rise of Live Golf. The statement claims that both professional golfers assisted Monaghan in defaming and disparaging Live Golf and intended to scare sponsors and television rights contracts away from Live Golf and its players. Like I hate it. Like I, I hope it goes away. We're talking claims of antitrust violations and unfair trade practices. This is serious business. A real life courtroom drama with our favourite golfers in the main roles. This could be a Hollywood movie. I could see Jack Nicholson playing one of the main roles. I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! Clayman launched the antitrust suit a year ago in a challenge to the perceived monopoly held over professional golf by the PGA. What's at stake here is massive. In a deposition, witnesses are questioned under oath, and the testimony given by Woods and McElroy could be crucial in determining whether their actions were anti-competitive or just part of the cutthroat world of professional sports. Depending on how this plays out, we could see a real shift in the power dynamics of professional golf. The PJ Tours monopoly, the future of Live Golf, even the legacies of Woods and McElroy. Everything's on the line. Maybe this is why McElroy is softening his stance on Live Golf in recent days, with comments that he was too judgmental at the start. It's probably judgmental of the guys that went at the start. Ain't golf, social media is buzzing. Fans are split. Some are standing by Woods and McElroy, while others are calling for a real shakeup in the sport. The lawsuit is more than just legal talk, it's about the integrity of the game that we love. So where do you stand? Are Woods and McElroy in the wrong, or are they just protecting the sports traditions? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll catch you in the next one.